Tim Walls for uh, almost 20 years and governed in partnership with him for the last six. He is a dad, he is a coach, he's a teacher, he's a veteran. And I can tell you as a Native American woman, uh, he is an incredible partner to women leaders. I know that he will uh, be an incredible partner for the vice president when she becomes president. And I have just watched him lead with courage and with heart and his whole uh, lived experience is about public service. It was Governor Walls who settled on that approach of calling Donald Trump weird, a way of, of diminishing him, making him small. That critique, I think, took on added resonance in large part because of where it was coming from, a Midwestern governor, an older white man. And it speaks to his ability, as Democrats see it, to speak to different groups of voters in different ways. How do you see it? Um, I think he was calling it like it is, and I think that's one of the, the things that people like about, about Governor Walls. He's authentic. Um, these guys are weird. I think it's it's weird that, you know, Donald Trump and J.D. Vance want to have power over women's bodies, our health care decisions, the books that we can read, um, and juxtapose that with Kamala Harris and uh, Tim Walls, who want to make sure that we can protect our freedom and just live our lives the way that we want to. What, what in, informs and inspires his, his approach to public service? Well, I think it's it's how he grew up in rural Nebraska. His dad was the superintendent of, of schools. Um, he also grew up on a farm. I think that informs how hard he works and just his realness with people. But of course, 24 years in the Army National Guard, he believes in, in service and he's continued that work in Congress and then as, as governor. But mostly, I think it's because he's a teacher. Um, he's a good teacher, and that also makes him a good listener and a good learner. And I think that has absolutely informed the way that he's governed. Here's the deal. You know, we have different lived experiences. That's why we decided to run together and serve together. But we have shared values. So when we have a conflict, we talk about it. We work it out. Um, but ultimately, he's the governor and gets to decide. But I'll tell you this. Um, I have valued serving with him so much. I have learned an incredible amount from him. And uh, I just, he really listens and can take on opinions that are different from his own.